how's it going guys? Welcome to another video and this is your host, your one and only Giver and welcome to this episode of Techco Video. Now, we will be discussing or taking a look at Boya's newest wireless microphone, the Boya BY-M1V. Now, if you're going to search this specific model in, let's say, Lazada, Shopee, Amazon, etc., you'll be greeted by different versions like M1V1, M1V2, so forth and so on. Now, the reason why is because this specific model has different combination. Now, if you are a camera-centered folk like you have DSLR, mirrorless, etc., you might want to pick the version that looks like this that has two transmitter or one transmitter in one receiver but if you are leaning towards the mobile version or the mobile category then you will be wanting the one that you can just plug directly to the ports of your phone but for today's video we're going to be testing the one for mirrorless DSLR and other form of camera so have you seen the size of this wireless microphone like this is my iPhone 14 Pro for comparison like that's how how small it is it's even smaller than the Rode wireless microphone and the Andover ones that I was able to review within this channel now if you want to check that there is a card above so you can just click it and it will be redirected to you so we're done with that let's discuss the specification for this product like any other wireless microphone, it has a 2.4 GHz connectivity, USB Type-C port, and it has no screen, sadly, but considering the price point of right around 3,500 pesos or the converted currency for USD and the size, I don't think you'll be able to fit a screen on this kind of size and kind of price point. But don't worry because boy, I got your back because this is a color coded product. So here are some of the color combinations that you'll be needing to remember but don't worry it's also included in the manual but and once you receive this it has no battery whatsoever it has a little bit juice but not enough for you to do your testing so i suggest that you charge it first and for pairing there are specific instructions on how to pair this but basically once you open the two you just need to click twice for the power button for it to pair. It already factory paired so if you decided to purchase the two transmitter and one receiver it should connect as soon as you turn it on. Just make sure that it is fully charged. Now before we proceed to the actual tests of this microphone or how it performed, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and you have punch and kick notification bell icon and please drop a like on this video so I will be notified that you like it and so you will be notified every time that I'm going to release a video. Does that make sense? I think so. Anyway guys, thank you so much for still being with me. Just a short thank you note. So yeah, so let's proceed with the actual test. Volume level one, mic test. So the mic is around two inches away from my mouth. You can see. Volume number level two, number level two. So mic test, this is the sound quality that you're getting. Volume level three. So mic test, my voice doesn't change in its loudness, so I'm speaking the same, mic test. Volume 4, so I think I'm peaking right now. My screen is a little bit small, but I can see the red line. Now this is volume level 5, mic test, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And volume level 6, and I'm definitely peaking. Last but not the least, volume 7, mic test, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so for this test, I'm just holding the mic whichever distance that I want, but this time it has a wind filter. So the main purpose of the wind filter is in case there are some sort of a wind that is passing through the microphone, it will reduce the feedback or the noise significantly. So this is the sound quality that you're gonna have if you put the wind filter with the Boya BY-M1V and we're currently at volume level 3. Now we're going to be putting this um, in my color and okay so this is the sound quality that you're getting if you put the Boya micro wireless microphone in your shirt so mic test one two three now for this next test we're going to try using a lavalier microphone together with the Boya wireless microphone so we're still at volume level three and this is the sound quality that you're getting in case that you want to use a lavalier microphone Please do take note that the sound quality might be different 
in case you are using a different brand of lavalier microphone. In my case, I just found this in my microphone essentials box where I keep every microphone related. So, so this is a lavalier microphone connected to Boya. Mic test, one, two, three. Now, while we are here with the lavalier microphone, there is one function, this Boya M1V, that I am so intrigued about. It is the noise reduction feature. So this is the sound quality that you're getting if you turn on the noise reduction function. Mic test, one, two, three. Mic test, noise reduction on, volume level three. Recording level in my camera, level 10. And I'm holding the microphone a few inches in my mouth. Now I know that this entire video will not be complete if we're not going to test the distance of this microphone. Let's head outside and see if this microphone can keep up. Okay, so now we're here outside. We're still, we're still currently at volume level 3. So this is the sound quality that you're getting if you're going to use this microphone outside. So basically there's a lot of noise going on now because there are a lot of cars, motorcycles, etc. So this is the sound quality. Mic check. One, two, three. Okay, so the microphone is now in my color. So this is the sound quality that you're getting. Unfortunately, I won't be testing the lapel microphone version because it should sound the same as if we are outside and indoors. Now we're going to test the distance between this receiver and the transmitter because Boya rated that it could go as far as 60 meters, but we're going to test that just like before. So I'll be walking down that road and I will be waving every time that I'm going to cover a good amount of distance. So let's go. I think we're still doing good because as I can look here in my microphone, the blue light is not blinking. So it means that it's still connected to the um, receiver. So I'll be waving. So this is where I'm currently at. I'm not sure of how far I am right now, but it should give you guys a good ballpark in terms of how is the distance or the quality of the distance between the receiver the audio quality i i mean so okay so right now i'm very very far so how's the quality am i crackling or the audio is still good i think this is a very far um location right now so i'll be going back now upon hearing those tests, I can honestly say to you that this microphone's audio quality is actually good. Although I don't suggest you using it too close to your mouth. For this price point, you'll be getting the tiniest, the smallest wireless microphone right now in the planet. I'm not considering those for mobile because their, their division is small. But for mirrorless, DSLR, etc. type of cameras, like this is the smallest. Like, so would I be recommending this microphone? Yes. Now, if you want to purchase this, buy this, get one for yourself, upgrade from Andor. I think this is better than Andor. But if you want to see me compare all of the budget microphones or wireless microphones, make sure to comment that down below. I might consider it. So yeah, link will be down in the description. I hope you guys enjoy this video and please use my affiliate link when purchasing very very please or pretty 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 please so i can get a little bit of kickback so i can finance more tech reviews like this in the future now i think this video has been far too long and i apologize but hey thank you for watching for watching for watching i'll be seeing you guys again bye bye